Painting the football field used to take staff members at Hickson High School hours and hours. Now it only takes the push of a button. With the turf robot, it'll tell you exactly I mean, how long it is. You can kind of adjust it to any presets you want. And then once it is preset, all you really got to do is press start. All thanks to this turf tank. Our goal is to, to, is to help the playing fields look the best they can. Um, at a very economical price and, and raise the quality. President and founder of Turf Tank, Jason Aldridge, came up with this idea back in 2016. I was watching Shark Tank one night and was just kind of brainstorming with my son. And I turned to him and said, wouldn't it be cool if we could like build a robot to paint sports fields? The turf robot typically only takes three hours to paint an entire football field. When I asked Hickson linebackers coach Kendrick Bradley if this turf tank was a game changer. Yes, ma'am, for sure. I mean, you don't got to do nothing but press start for the most part and clean it off. But other than that, that's it. This base station is the brains of the turf robot. It's connected to satellites that relay GPS information as well as the field layout to the robot. So the robot can paint any geometric shape. So on an American football field, it does hashes, lines, uh, it can paint a logo in the midfield. It can spell out the mascot in the end zone. The turf tank is also contributing to a lower carbon footprint in the environment. You don't have to use gasoline. It's all electric. Um, and so it's, uh, uh, you know, besides that, the amount of paint that we put on the field is just right. For Sideline Spotlight, I'm Meg Doyle. And as part of our coverage this season, we're highlighting great stories from area schools and students. So here's how you can help out. There on your screen is contact info from our newsroom, an email, phone, and social media information. If you know someone who deserves a spotlight in our sports coverage, please let us know.